Hi everybody, I'm Lights Camera Jackson. After seeing 2014's most controversial and talked about movie, The Interview, the Seth Rogen James Franco comedy, it's clear that North Korea's concerns about the film are justified. A lot of shots are fired at leader Kim Jong-un and his country throughout, both figuratively and literally. I have to admit, I laughed more than I expected. Well, at least in the first half. Franco plays the highly popular but not so intelligent entertainment talk show host Dave Skylark. He and his producer Aaron Rappaport, played by Rogan, pitched the idea of Skylark interviewing Kim Jong-un to North Korea, and they actually go for it. Skylark is very excited. This is the biggest interview since Frosty Nixon. Frosty Nixon? I mean, in 10 years, Ron Howard's going to make a movie out of this. We do this, we can interview any president on the planet. And then you can ask them the real questions. This is like eating our vegetables. Once you eat those, then you get to eat the steak. And we know Aaron wants his steak. Before they head east, CIA agent Lacey, played by Lizzie Kaplan of Masters of Sex, makes a surprising request. The CIA would love it if you two could take him out. Hmm? Take him out. Take him out? Like for drinks? No, no, no. Take him out. Take out. Like to dinner? Take him out to a meal? Take him out. Like on the town? Party? No, uh, take him out. You want us to assassinate the leader of North Korea? Yes. What? She also preps them with a highly organized plan, which of course will not run smoothly. Dave will bow to Kim, then shake his hand, immediately disposing of the strip in his jacket pocket, which will lined with an absorbing agent that denatures poison. Oh no. hey, hey! However, once Skylark and Rappaport arrive in North Korea and begin prepping for the interview, the interview starts to lose its edge. New characters are introduced, including Kim Jong-un himself, played by Randall Park, and unexpected relationships form. The frantic, comical pace of the first half gives way to too much dialogue and too many forced gags. However, overall, the interview is a solid, generally entertaining, occasionally sharp, but mostly wacky, silly farce. With some fine-tuning of the script, including the use of a fictitious world leader as its target, this could have been one of the best comedies of 2014. On the official LCJ report card, the interview gets a C+. I'm Lights Camera Jackson. For all the latest news and movie reviews, go to lights-camera-jackson.com and follow me on Twitter at LCJ Reviews.